Hello everybody, this is Muzaffar and welcome to the fourth video of my Echo Framework series. In this video, we will create database schema for our plug. And before we proceed, make sure you have Postgres and Golang Migrate Library installed on your computer. I already have a video on both of these topics which will be added in the video description below. So the Postgres video uh, I was referring to is uh, there in my channel. If you go to Postgres playlist, please follow this video. I will add it in the video description and another video um, should be in go playlist so in there you will find uh, this video here uh, which covers installation of uh, golang migrate package so yeah this will also be added in the uh, video description below I'll start by checking my Postgres and uh, Golang Migrate installations. PC um, catalog and the Postgres version I have is 15, and uh, you can see it is not running yet. So let me start it. PC catalog start now. It is, it is running right now let's verify the golang migrate uh, library i installed it using homebrew so the name of the uh, binary is migrate and i have 4.15 installed Now that Postgres is running, let's uh, go and create the database for our uh, blog. So I'll copy this command here and paste it. Name of the database, uh, I'll keep it uh, same as our uh, blog project name. So that was echo blog. Uh, so let's go to the sql postgres database and then paste the command so echo block and here if we list the database is created now let's create the user for this database so i'll create this user and the name of the user i'll keep it same as database name echo block and the password is secret and uh, this is super user so, yeah let's verify users this is the one and now uh, just to verify databases again so slash l we can see the database is here, but uh, the access privileges for our user are not set to this database. So let's go and set them. I'll copy this uh, uh, command and paste it here and set the database and username. So this is the database name echo demo echo block and uh, the username is same echo block so what i am basically doing is granting all the privileges uh, to uh, to this database so this user will have all the privileges to echo block database let's enter and now let's uh, list databases again so slash l this time we can see that echo block user has uh, access privileges to echo block database now let's go back and generate uh, database uh, migrations for our initial schema so let me exit out of this and let's copy the command from here and 
what this command is going to do is uh, create this directory uh, in our project so the directory uh, database db and under this directory we will have another directory called migrations and in there it will generate up and down files uh, migration files for our initial schema and i will have a sequence for each file there and the extension will be sql so let's execute this command and uh, remember it is using the golang migrate package let's execute it and yes it has generated both these files let's go back to vs code and verify so as you can see uh, we have new database directory and migrations and this is up and down directory so yeah let's uh, add our uh, table structure in these uh, files so before we do that uh, let me show you how the database is going to look like so we will basically add uh, three tables there one for users and one for posts and uh, comments and these will be the fields in all three tables so yeah let's go back and uh, add the scheme so in here i already have a, a sql for this so let's copy all of these and put it in the up file so you see what we are doing is we are creating user table and posts and finally the comments table and i am also adding uh, creating index on user id and post id in these tables and finally adding some uh, foreign keys because uh, uh, user has posts in post table right and uh, uh, each posts uh, each post has uh, comments so that is why i'm setting these foreign keys there so i think we are all good there on the up file for the up file let's go back and copy the command for down file so up file will basically create the schema and down file will uh, drop it it is like undo down file is kind of undo what you have done in up file so yeah i am dropping the tables in uh, like uh, sequence uh, so initially i created users then posts and comments but you know because i have these uh, foreign key constraints i have to drop them in backward order like comments then posts and then users we can execute these uh, migrations using uh, up command and undo them using down command uh, from migrate golang migrate uh, binary uh, but before we do that we need to uh, export a environment variable called postgres uh, url uh, that environment variable will be used by both uh, up and down commands so let's go back and see yeah this is the environment variable let's go back to the terminal and export it so let's set the username so remember the username for our database was uh, echo blog and password was secret so I'm keeping it as secret and this is the default uh, port number for postgres and finally this is the database name here so database name was uh, echo block as well so yeah let's press enter and now if we echo postgres url we should see correct url there now go back and 
copy the up command and you see it is using this uh, database uh, postgres url for this uh, database argument and the path argument takes in the migrations directory where we have you know up and down files so finally we just execute the command itself which is up this time so if we do that it is executed successfully so now if we go back to the database p sql the name of the database was o blog and here if we do uh, slash d this will basically display all the tables so we can see we have comments posts and users tables and uh, don't mind these tables uh, they are just created because we are using serial for uh, id column in each table so yeah currently there is no data in each table we can verify using select the standard select statement um, just there is nothing let's exit out of this and go back to our id editor and this should be it basically so we have migrations uh, both up and down let's try to drop and uh, uh, create migrations again so just to verify uh, both of these uh, migrations are working correctly so let's execute the down command we can verify yes and it seemed to have worked let's go into the sql echo blog and we can do slash d and yes we don't see any tables exit out of this and try to execute up command again and this time it should have created the tables again so p sql echo blog let's do slash d and yes so exit out of this So that's about it for this video, be sure to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in next video.